Hey guys, Kyle here from Stillen, and today we're gonna to do our final video on the True Power by Stillen cold air intake system for the Toyota Tundra. In the past videos, we've shown you how we came up with our design philosophy for the air intake system. We also showed you how we did our testing and the importance of true cold air intake for your truck. Now we wanna show you what you can expect to receive in the box when you open your True Power by Stillen cold air intake system. Just like all the other intake systems on the market, we're gonna include for you a cold air box that has a larger reservoir of air. We're also gonna give you that conical high performance air filter and we're gonna include the intake tube and the couplers necessary to connect it to the engine. However, with a Stillen True Power system, you're also gonna receive your patent pending radiator shroud inlet system. This is what brings the air from the front of the vehicle into your inlet tube. Then of course, you're gonna receive your inlet tube system that connects from your radiator shroud into the air box. Of course, you also need the silicone coupler to make that final connection. Now, for the customers who have been calling us and asking and saying, hey, I live in really inclement weather. It rains a lot where I live, or I'm really worried about torrential downpours or snow or sleet, whatever it may be. Rest assured that we've tested our air intake system in all different kinds of weather conditions. I personally have had my truck in torrential downpours going right up next to vehicles in front of me in order to get that spray coming off the back of their cars, hoping to get it through the intake tract, and we haven't found any moisture getting through the system. We've also tested the truck in over 100 degree temperature out in the desert on multiple occasions during off-roading trips or even just product development testing. However, if you're still concerned that your use is really that extreme and you really need to make sure that you don't get any extra airflow going into your factory intake port, we have a solution for you. In that case, we have an optional modular upgrade where you can have the free flow tube or a block off plate. This is a different part number, so when you're ordering, make sure that you look for the system that includes these block off plates, or if you decide later on, after you've owned your free flow system, that you would like to upgrade to the block offs, we do have that as a separate system for you as well. So even though we offer these systems for you that block off that airflow and block off any potential hazards or moisture, anything that you might be concerned about, I do want to let you know that the Ford Mustang, Dodge Challenger, and even some of the old still in cold air intake systems that have been on the road for decades have a similar system that exposes the air filter directly to the elements. The great thing about the block off plates is that it only takes about five to 10 minutes to swap out. So if you look at the weather forecast and there's a hurricane coming in, you could take about five minutes, swap out that block off plate and you're good to go. And then a week later, change it back to the free flow system and you're right down the street getting your true cold air intake. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any other questions or would like to know more about the development that went into the True Power by Stillen cold air intake system, be sure to check out our past videos where we outline the horsepower gains, the design concepts, and how we went about developing the best cold air intake system for the Toyota Tundra. Hey guys, Kyle here with Stillen, and I'm really excited to talk to you today about the test procedures that we're gonna go through with my Toyota Tundra that you see behind me. Recently, we developed a true cold air intake for this truck, and I'm really excited about the results. This air intake design is so unique that we actually have an application for a patent pending with the United States Patent Offices. What we're gonna show you in this video is the result of three days of testing you're gonna see each step as we go through and test the factory air intake, the leading competitor intake, and the still in true power, true cold air intake for the 5.7 liter Toyota Tundra. Here we are, day one of testing the new Toyota Tundra intakes by Stillen. We've looked at the weather forecast and it's given us exactly the same temperature for the next few days, which is gonna allow us to show you the difference in air intake temperatures from the Stillen intake, the factory air intake, and the leading competitor. The first test is the factory Toyota intake. To test all of our intakes, we've chosen the HP Tuner software. HP Tuners has given us a really good software that allows us to check intake air temperature, water temperature, ambient air temperature, and various other parameters so that we can see exactly what's going on with these three air intakes. Follow along as we put the factory air intake to the test. To set up our challenge, we started by selecting a driving course that would represent an average commute 
and would test the vehicle in stop and go traffic as well as steady state highway speeds. We also began the tests at the same time of day to make sure that ambient air temperature and traffic conditions were as consistent as possible. Fortunately, we saw that the weather forecast called for three days to be very consistent in weather conditions. The expected temperature was going to be 80 degrees for all three days. We did see that the forecast and the actual temperatures were slightly different, but only by two degrees, still within a reasonable range to compare the data. During the testing of the factory intake system, the highest recorded intake air temperature was 102 degrees. This temperature was recorded after 15 minutes of driving on city streets. Right before the freeway entrance where we began the highway steady state testing, once on the highway we recorded that it took about 1 minute and 45 seconds for the intake air temperature to get within 3 degrees of ambient. All right, day two here at Stillen, and we're gonna continue on with our three-day challenge of the Toyota Tundra cold air intake test that we're doing. Today is the leading competitor in the market. The reason why we've chosen this particular intake is because they have a claimed 38% increase in airflow. Part of the Stillen air intake design is an additional increase in flow, so we felt that this was really the closest competitor. The way that the increase in airflow works on this particular intake is they've included this additional port here for air to come into the air intake box. The problem is they also include a urethane cover. Well, we're not going to test it with that urethane cover because if you include the cover, then you don't get your airflow increase. So what's the point? So we're going to go ahead and leave that exposed. We're going to hook up the HP tuner software and we're going to see what happens to those intake air temperatures. During the initial testing of the leading competitor intake, we noticed that the intake temperatures got higher than either the factory Toyota or Stillen intake system, which is what we expected to see based on the location of the additional intake port. The temperatures reached all the way up to 127 degrees, so hot that the HP tuner software actually started displaying the temperatures with a red warning around the gauge display. In comparison, the highest temperature recorded during the stock or Stillen testing was 104 degrees. Interestingly, all three intakes reached their peak temperatures at the same spot in the drive cycle, after 15 minutes of street driving at the same intersection before entering the highway. Day three of the Toyota Tundra intake test continues. Here we are testing out the still and cold air intake. Day one was the factory intake, and day two was our leading competitor. The way that we came up with the design for the cold air intake is I'm an avid off-road enthusiast. As you can see, this truck's been equipped with Icon full suspension system, and I use this truck in the dirt, and I need all the power I can get. When I was changing out the headlights to HID bulbs, I noticed that by plumbing additional air from the radiator shroud into the air box, I'd be able to not only increase the volume of air, but also get a much colder air source as the air comes straight from the front of the vehicle, unimpeded by any additional body panels or hot interior components. Now we're gonna put this theory to the test of how much cold air we're gonna get going into this intake system. We're gonna hook up that data logger and we're gonna see what the results are. We immediately saw the difference during our data logs. We could see that the intake air temperature would behave almost exactly the same way as it did with the factory intake when sitting at a stoplight. There would be a slow increase in temperature as the vehicle began to heat soak due to the lack of airflow. However, as soon as the light turned green and the vehicle started moving, the intake air temperatures would immediately start to drop with the Stillen True Power Cold Air Intake. The factory air box saw a decline in temperature as well, but nowhere near as rapidly as the Stillen Cold Air Intake. This became even more clear when entering the freeway. As I previously mentioned, the factory air intake and the Stillen air intake both reached peak intake air temperatures of 102 degrees at the exact same spot during the drive cycle. This was right before entering a freeway on-ramp where the truck was able to accelerate to 65 miles per hour. As you can see in the drive cycle data, we did our best to maintain consistent acceleration patterns to make sure we were not skewing the results one way or the other. The end result is that the True Power cold air intake by Stillen achieved ambient air intake temperatures nearly 60 seconds before the factory air intake was within 5 degrees of ambient. By reducing intake air temperatures, we are improving horsepower, torque, fuel efficiency, vehicle longevity, and allowing the engine to operate more efficiently overall. All right, guys, here we are with video number two explaining the Stillen True Power, True Cold Air intake for the Toyota Tundra. Uh, 
uh, what we're doing right now is we're actually driving on the same route that we were driving when we did our intake air temperature consistency testing. And uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what we experienced and why it's important. Basically what we saw is a baseline average horsepower output of about 325 horsepower from the factory and 325 foot-pounds of torque. Um, we did see uh, some numbers lower than that, we saw some numbers higher than that, but that's about the average was 325 on both. Um, from there, with the competitor intake that we tested, we saw about 335 horsepower uh, on average with that port open. So they did see an increase in power. Um, and then we also saw 340 horsepower with the stillant intake. So that's why we've really been focused so much on maintaining those consistent intake air temperatures. Uh, the dyno will tell you kind of your best case scenario. Hey, if you have, you know, your optimum scenario of peak intake air temperatures, uh, or sorry, I should say optimized intake air temperatures, um, you know, good consistent water uh, coolant temperatures and everything really the way that it should ideally be. And it gives you a good consistent uh, measurement to, to get averages off of, but it does not give you the true real world uh, sitting in traffic, sitting at the staging lights of the drag strip, sitting at camp before you go out off-roading, whatever it may be, it doesn't replicate that scenario for you. That's why, you know, we did our dyno testing, we got the numbers, but really most importantly for us was intake air temperature. So I went ahead and I drew up this quick diagram. And the idea there is to actually physically show you that a larger, hotter air molecule is going to take up more space inside of the same box as a colder, more oxygen-rich air molecule. This is to represent your intake air box. Your intake air box, your intake tube, your throttle body, they're all a given size. That box is not going to change. It's not going to increase. It's not going to decrease. We can improve the flow of it. By, by adding extra ports to it, by changing the shape a little bit. However, we're not gonna change the volume of air that we're dealing with. So our goal is to reduce that temperature, hence the term cold air intake. And the whole reason for that is because the coldest air that we can possibly get into the engine is the best. Cold air means that your air molecules are smaller and therefore more dense, and that's your air density. We're trying to get that oxygen-rich, dense air into your engine so that we get a better burn, which equals more power and more torque. The factory ECU, your computer inside, is measuring multiple different points of data on your vehicle. It's measuring your exhaust gas temperature, it's measuring your, your exhaust air fuel ratio, it's measuring the intake temperature, it's measuring the ambient air temperature. And because of that, it's constantly adjusting your vehicle's performance. If your water temperature, for example, is starting to run too hot, if your intake air temperature is starting to run too hot, if any of these things start to get out of line of what is expected for the computer, the computer starts to adjust the tune. Because if it knows that your water temperature is too high, your intake air temperature is too high, it can't be as aggressive with its timing, with the, its ignition input. So it'll start to pull a little bit of timing. It'll start to adjust the air fuel ratio. So. The reason why we really wanted to focus on maintaining that good, consistent, low intake air temperature is so that the vehicle would be constantly giving the best performance that it can. So the unique thing about the true power intake and the way that it works so well is that we're taking unused frontal area of the radiator shroud um, and we are redirecting that air into the air intake. So what we've done is we've incorporated the uh, cold air ducting to make sure that that additional air flow that we're bringing into the air box is as cold or as low of a temperature as it can possibly be. During the test, uh, this is where we saw the 102 or 104 degree intake air temperatures, 125 on the competitor intake. Um, and now we're starting to go again. And it was at this point that we immediately started to see the intake air temperatures decline with the still in true power cold air intake. The OEM intake uh, didn't decline for about a minute and 45 seconds uh, at accelerating to freeway speeds. The still in intake declined to ambient air temperature within 35 seconds.
The benefits with the True Power by Stillen cold air intake system is you're getting an intake that's proven to increase your horsepower, increase your torque, lower your intake air temperatures, improve your airflow, and is backed by a limited lifetime warranty, and is made in America.